2D. Land ahoy! Sailors long time ago used to shout this, Land ahoy! when they see land while traveling by sea. Listen and read. Who was Zachary Hicks? This is Captain James Cook. Captain is someone who is in charge of a ship. He's like the boss of a ship. He was a famous explorer, famous, well-known. Explorer, someone who travels to find out more about different countries. He was born in England. He was born means he first came into this world as a baby in England. England is a country in Europe in 1728. In 1768, that's 40 years after his date of birth, he went on his first voyage. Voyage. Voyage is a long journey by sea to the South Seas. Now this line is the equator. All seas south of the line are called South Seas. On the 19th of April, 1770, he reached, he got to, and explored found out about the east coast of Australia. This is Australia, and this part right here is the east coast. Cook named the place. Cook is the captain, Captain James Cook. Named the place he reached first, Point Hicks, after one of his sailors. What's the meaning of this? It means the captain gave this place a name. He named it Point Hicks. Why? Because this is the name of one of his sailors. Sailors are people who work and travel on a ship. Okay, part two. The journal of Zachary Hicks. Journal is like a diary. Now this was written by Zachary Hicks. Who was he? He was the sailor, not the captain. The captain is James Cook. The 19th of April, 1770. This morning, something incredible happened. Something unbelievable happened. After our long voyage, we saw land. Land is a solid, dry part of the earth. Actually, in fact, I saw it first. It was around 6 o'clock. Around 6, maybe a little bit before 6 or after 6. O'clock in the morning. And we were all on deck. On deck, on the top level of the ship. It was a beautiful sunny morning. It was sunny. The sun was out in the sky. You could see it no clouds. Then I saw something. I didn't know what it was. I looked carefully again. I looked one more time with attention because I wanted to be sure. The next time I saw it, the second time I saw it, I immediately shouted. I quickly, without delay, shouted with a loud voice, Land ahoy! We all felt really excited. Felt is the past to feel. That was our emotion. Excited, very happy and interested and eager. I ran to the captain. Ran is the past of run. I moved quickly to the captain to tell him. He was very pleased. He was very happy and promised to name the place after me. When you promise, you tell someone that you will do something for sure. To name the place after me, to give the place a name like my name. So he named it Point Hicks because my name was Zachary Hicks. I can't wait to tell my mother.
So, who was Zachary Hicks? He was one of the sailors sailing with Captain Cook. Now, answer the questions, and before that, decide in which part of the text, in this part or in this part, can you find the information you need? Read the question. When was Captain Cook born? Where should we look for the answer? Here or here? Now, this part is about Captain Cook. And this part is about the sailor, Zachary Hicks. This question is about the captain. We should look here. He was born in 1728 in England. When did he first travel to the South Seas? Forty years after that, in 1768. What time did Hicks see land? Now, this question is about Zachary Hicks. We should look here. It was around six o'clock in the morning. What was the weather like? Describe the weather. Was it rainy, snowy? It was a sunny day. Why did Hicks wait to shout, land ahoy? Because he wanted to see it for a second time, just to be sure. He didn't want to make a mistake. How did the sailors feel? They were excited. Vocabulary. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. If you read the words, all of them are nouns, not adjectives, not verbs. Sailors, people who travel by sea and work on a ship. Captain is like a boss of a ship, the man in charge. North is one of the main directions. We have north south, east, and west, north, south, east, west, east, west, voyage, a long journey by sea, explorers, people who travel to find out about places and learn more about them, land is a solid, dry part of the earth, coast. Now, this is the land and this is the sea, right? Coast is the area where the land meets the sea. 1. I am reading a book about like Columbus and Cook. This is Cook. This is Columbus. It's about explorers. Like means such as, such as Columbus and Cook. On its first voyage, the ship traveled around the world. After two months at sea, we saw land. The, the captain of the ship was very popular. He was so loved with his crew, with his sailors. This is a polar bear. Polar bears live in the north, in the North Pole. We stayed at a beautiful town. Town is like a small city on the coast and went swimming every morning. Grammar. Personal pronouns. Ali and Dalal. Ali plays with Dalal. Ali is the subject of the sentence. Plays is the verb. Dalal is the object. Now, I don't want to use the names Ali and Dalal. I want to use personal pronouns. I will use these. What should I use? Instead of using Ali, I can use he, right? He plays with she. Is that correct? 
No. Object. Object. Not she. Her. He plays with her. Dalal plays with Ali. Now this time, Dalal is the subject, not the object. What do I say? Her? No. Subject. I use she. She plays with he? No. She plays with him. Right? Object. 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 I love my sister. Now, my is not a pronoun. It's a possessive adjective. Now, let's use object pronouns. I is a subject pronoun. I, I love her. I love her. She loves me. She loves me. Do you love your sister? Now complete using personal pronouns. Give my mobile phone, Khalid. Khalid, you have my phone. Give it to me. Give me. You give me my mobile phone. I know you have my phone. I know you have it. It. I don't. I don't have the phone. I gave the phone. I gave it to your brother. Ask your brother. You ask your brother. You ask him. Tell about your trip. Trip is a visit to a place. We want to know all about. We, we have two boys. So, not tell me, no, tell, not we, tell us. Tell us about your trip. We want to know all about the trip, all about it. Those shoes are nice. I want to buy the shoes. I want to buy them. Aren't they? A bit expensive or in the shoes the shoes are expensive where is the captain well the captain is over there he is over there do you want to talk to him listen how much do you know about the explorer Christopher Columbus explorer someone who travels to find out about places and learn more about them. Answer the questions below, then listen to the first half of a radio program. We have two halves, one and two, first half, second half. And check your answers. Where was he from? Was he from Italy or Spain? When was he born? What year? 1451 or 1541 where did he travel to the americas americas means north america and south america or australia how many voyages voyages long journeys by sea did he go on three or four now listen and now it's time for History Corner. Who are we looking at this week, Tim? He's an Italian explorer, and he was born in 1451. I'm not sure. He's quite famous. Is it Marco Polo? No. This explorer went on four voyages to... To where? The Americas. I know. It's Christopher Columbus. <laughs> That's right. Now check your answers. And now it's time for History Corner. Who are we looking at this week, Tim? He's an Italian explorer, and he was born in 1451. I'm not sure. He's quite famous. Is it Marco Polo? No. This explorer went on four voyages to... 
to where? The Americas. I know, it's Christopher Columbus. <laughs> That's right. Do you see these small marks? That means this is the name of the radio program. He is quite famous. He is well known. A lot of people know him. Christopher Columbus was Italian. He was from Italy and he was born in 1451 and he went on four voyages and all of them were to the Americas. Now listen to the second half, the rest, the remaining part of the radio program and write T for true or F for false. Columbus, Christopher Columbus, took the past of take three ships. This is a ship on his first voyage. After three months, they found land. Found is the past of find. Near the end of the voyage, at the last part of the voyage, the sailors, people who traveled with the captain and worked on the ship, didn't have food or drink. Columbus also traveled to India. India is a country in Asia. Columbus found out the past of find out. He realized he was in America on his third voyage. Now listen. Okay, let's learn a bit more about this famous explorer. He left on his first voyage on the 3rd of August in 1492. Did he have only one ship? No, there were three. How many months was the voyage? Well, they saw land on the 12th of October, so it took them about two months. What was it like on the ships? I mean, I saw a documentary once and the weather was terrible. Near the end of the voyage, the sailors died because they didn't have food or water to drink. Well, actually, that's not true. Life was difficult on the ships because they were quite small, but they had lots of food and water to drink. On the first voyage, the weather was fine and nobody died. I see. So, where did Columbus go first? To an island in the Bahamas, and he named the people Indians. Yes, why is that? Because he thought he was on an island near India, but he wasn't. So, he didn't know he was in the Americas? No, he didn't. And when did he find out? On his second voyage? Nope. His third? Fourth? He never knew. He lived his whole life thinking he went around the world to Asia. Now that's interesting. Now listen and check your answers. OK, let's learn a bit more about this famous explorer. He left on his first voyage on the 3rd of August in 1492. Did he have only one ship? No, there were three. How many months was the voyage? Well, they saw land on the 12th of October, so it took them about two months. What was it like on the ships? I mean, I saw a documentary once and the weather was terrible. Near the end of the voyage, the sailors died because they didn't have food or water to drink. Left is the past to flee. He moved away from his country on a ship. Saw the past of sea. A documentary is a TV or a radio program that gives you information about someone or something. The weather was terrible. The weather was very bad. It was rainy or snowy or there was a bad storm. People died. They stopped living. So Columbus took three ships. That's correct. One ship? No. Three. Three ships. Three months? No. It took them. They needed two months before they saw land. Now listen to the rest. Well, actually, that's not true. Life was difficult on the ships because they were quite small but they had lots of food and water to drink. On the first voyage, the weather was fine and nobody died. I see. So, where did Columbus go first? 
to an island in the Bahamas, and he named the people Indians. Yes, why is that? Because he thought he was on an island near India, but he wasn't. Life was difficult. It was not easy. They had lots of food. They carried with them. Had is the past of have. They carried a lot of food, and the weather was fine. It was good. It was okay. Island is a piece of land surrounded by water from all directions. The Bahamas, Bahamas plural s, is a group of islands that is between North America and South America. The Bahamas is the name of all these islands. He thought the past of think. This is what he believed was true. They actually had lots of food and water, so this is false. And Columbus didn't travel to India. He thought it was India, but it wasn't. It was the Bahamas. So he didn't know he was in the Americas. No, he didn't. And when did he find out? On his second voyage? No.、Nope. His third? Fourth? He never knew. He lived his whole life thinking he went around the world to Asia. Now that's interesting. Knew is the past of no. He never knew. He didn't know that he actually was in America. His whole life, from the moment he traveled till he died, he didn't know he was in America. Christopher Columbus. Traveled from Europe and he headed west, and he reached the Bahamas, but he didn't know that. He thought he traveled around the world to Asia, to India. He thought the Bahamas was India. So this is false, incorrect. Right. Use the answers to the questions in Activity 4A. This is 4A. To write a short paragraph about Christopher Columbus, start using this line: Christopher Columbus was an explorer from Italy. He was born in 1451. He went on four voyages. And all of them were to the Americas. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.